Anyway, my next guest has travelled the world as a singer and songwriter, performing with a host of big names, including Gary Barlow. Now, she's just got married, has a baby on the way, and now she's preparing for her UK tour. So I'm going to find out how musician Nell Bryden fits it all in in just a minute. But first, let's have a listen to her new single, Wayfarer. Wow, Nell Bryden's with me now. That looks amazing. I love all the gold Thank makeup. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, I obviously have no hair, so you have to sort of make the most of it. And I realized I could be this canvas for that. It was really, really fun. Fantastic. So your new single is Wayfarer. Yes. And the album generally feels very happy. Yeah. It's very up-tempo, upbeat. Mm. And I think that's sort of, you know, art reflecting what I'm going through emotionally in my life right now. Because I used to write a lot of cry-in-your-beer kind of love songs, and I was out on the road quite a bit alone and um, recently I've, I've met the man of my dreams he's my best friend this is Alistair isn't yes. it oh look at you on your I wedding know. day <laughs> so beautiful and you kind of hunted him down a little bit didn't you I did well I, <laughs> I moved into um, an apartment in Notting Hill and it's just like the movie he was working as a manager at the restaurant across wow. the street and so I started going in and checking on the daily specials all the time and seeing if he was available and what was going he finally asked me for my phone number <laughs> oh brilliant <laughs> took a while. did you tip him well. No, well, no. no, you don't want to you don't want to tip too you, well. Exactly. Not too early yes, on in a relationship. Exactly. No, very good point. <laughs> very good point. And were you at this point because I know there was a period when you first said from alopecia which was I imagine quite quite a hard thing to deal with in such an image conscious industry because it happened like that. Exactly. Didn't it? Well, um, for me it was stress induced and within right. 2 weeks I suddenly went from having long blonde hair to having absolutely no hair whatsoever. Crikey. And you can imagine the the level of identity change that would go for a, for a woman. Your whole femininity huh. is really called into question at that point. So I, I cried a lot and yeah. I flew back to my mother in, in, in New York and I kind of hid under the duvet and decided what am I going to do next and uh, you know just, did you worry that it was over at that I point? I did I had people that I was working with at the time that said you shouldn't tell anybody that you're going through this it's it's not something you should mention mm. so I uh, you know I'm lucky that I have music as this cathartic way to mm. deal with things emotionally I could write songs about it and the album that I came out with then was was lyrically more dark because I was going through that vulnerability I, yeah but you know there is an irony in life to to exposing yourself and being open because it made me get off that treadmill it made me realize I did want to be someone's wife I did want to find Mr. Right and even though I couldn't bear the idea of being a bald bride of walking down the aisle and that was the worst thing I hadn't even met Mr. Right yet and I couldn't bear that thought but um, somehow I decided this is either going to be the worst thing that ever happened to me or the best thing. It's up to me to decide. Was there a moment when you took the wig off? Yes. Both on stage and with Alistair. Were they, were they big moments for They you? were, yes, because I, I wore a wig for the first year or so afterwards mm. when I was touring. It was a very private thing that I was going through. And then right around the time when Gary Barlow asked me to come on tour with him, and I also met Alistair, so my whole life was wow. just really blossoming. I decided that there is much more um, interest in being honest who you are as a songwriter, that it's more liberating for other people to see me being me rather than some photoshopped, auto-tuned or hiding behind a mask person. And I, I felt like you know, my fans really went on this journey with me and they deserve to know the truth. And the success has kind of flowed from there, hasn't Ironically. it? Ironically. I mean, you've had such a full life. You still so young, you've had such a full life. And it's about to get fuller with that I know, it's there. getting fuller <laughs> by the day. <laughs> um, but you're still performing, aren't you? And your mum did the same thing. Yeah. Still yeah. Incredible. Well, I think there is a family history, as you said, Kate. I um, have a mother who was a classical singer, and at eight and a half months pregnant, wow. she was singing with me at Carnegie Hall. She said yeah. I was kicking away on the high notes. So, um, so I do feel like there is a, a history of doing this. I am, you know, ambitious in how much I'm doing with my touring. But once she's born, it's a little girl, and I know you have two girls too, so it's very exciting. Um, once she's born, I have a girl and a boy actually. But to be honest, he wears so much pink. Oh, you could be happily forgiven oh. for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like his pink, really. <laughs> and, and so being a parent has changed your life, hasn't it? I mean, Completely. So I'm Completely. fully expecting to be humbled by this incredible change. And 
And Cher's a massive fan as and well. And Cher. Cher ended up covering a song of mine, Sirens, which was which is all about 9-11 as well, wasn't it? Very personal song for me. I'm yeah. obviously from New York, and I waited 10 years to write this song, and I just yeah. really... Um, you know, I didn't want to write about something so personal mm. to me, but I'm glad I did because that song has changed my life. Well, it's fantastic to chat to you. Thank Wave Fair, the album's out, and your singles album out on Monday, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. Brilliant, and good luck. Thank you so much. Good luck much. with the big project. Yes, the one it's right the big there. project. Nice now. to chat Thank to you. you.